Hi, this is Shah with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. In this video, we will learn how to set up our development environment for JDBC development. We'll start off with system requirements, then we'll discuss how to load sample data into our table. We'll also look at how to install the JDBC driver, and then finally we'll test our database connection, just to make sure everything works out fine. In this video series, I will use the MySQL database. You must have this already installed. You also need to have a SQL GUI tool. There are many tools out there, but I'll use the MySQL Workbench. It's a free tool, and it's very useful for working with the MySQL database. For this tutorial, we're going to use the following table called Employees. The table also has sample data for testing. I have a SQL script that you can use that will create the table and add the sample data for you. You can download this from the link below. The file is called tablesetup.sql. Let's switch over to MySQL Workbench. Once you download the source code from my website, lovetocode.com, then you will have a directory called SQL inside of the zip file. So I'll go ahead and open this file by doing open SQL script. I'll choose the directory, SQL, tablesetup.sql, and I'll click the open button. This SQL script creates the database table for employees, and it also inserts sample data. I'll go ahead and execute this script. And over on the left-hand side, I'll refresh the database schemas. This script created a new schema called demo. And inside of demo, there's a table called employees with the given columns. Now what I'll do is I'll right-click this table. I'll say select rows and it'll show me the sample data that was populated by this SQL script. So this looks really good. To install the JDBC driver, we'll need to first download the driver and then configure the driver in the Eclipse tool. All right, so let's move over to a web browser. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna type in download MySQL JDBC driver. And then we'll hit search. This will give us a number of links We'll choose the top link here at MySQL, Download Connector J. In the center of the screen, we'll basically tell it which platform we want. So we'll say Platform Independent. It's going to give us a list of two options, either a TAR or a ZIP. We're going to choose the ZIP archive. We're going to click Download. And at this point, they're going to ask you to log in. There's no requirement at the bottom. Just say, no thanks, just start my download. The browser will prompt you. You'll hit save. This is a really small file. It'll quickly download to your system. Then you can use your finder to move over to your downloads directory. And here I have this zip file. I'll extract this zip file. It'll create a folder. Inside of this folder, there's a jar file, mysqlconnector.jar. And that's the actual JDBC driver that we're going to use. All right, so let's move over to Eclipse. And what I'm going to do is create a very simple Java project. So what I'll do here is I'll right click. I'll say File, New, Java Project. For the project name, I'm going to enter JDBC Test and hit Finish. And at this point, I have a very simple project. I can expand the folder, and we'll see that it's just an empty project right now. What I'll do is move back over to my file system where I downloaded that jar file. I'm going to select it and I'm going to copy it. So I'll right click, I'll say copy. Then I'll move back over to Eclipse. I'll choose the root folder here. Now I'll right click and I'll say paste. And you should see the new file in the project. But now we need to tell Eclipse how to actually associate this jar file with the project. So I'll right click and I'll select properties. And I'll click Java Build Path. Under the Libraries tab, I'll choose Add Jars. I'll expand my folder, and I'll find the jar file that I just dropped over there. And I'll hit OK. And then I'll hit OK. So what I want to do is add a very simple Java program for testing the JDBC connection. I'm going to add a new class called JDBC Test. I'll say New Class. For the actual name of the class, I'll give it JDBC test. I'll hit finish. 
And now what I'll do is I'll just drop in some code that I already have for connecting to a database. So this is my very simple class called JDBC test. Um, I simply have a main method. And basically I get a connection to a database. And then I print out connection successful. That's what we really want to see here. And then I'm just going to do a real simple query. So I'll just say select star from employees. And then I'll just print out the result set by just printing out the last name and the first name. Don't worry about all the technical details. All of my follow on videos will go into gory details. Let's go ahead and check this one out. So I just ran the program and here's the output. The most important line is the first line here says database connection successful. So we know that we can connect to MySQL. Then below that is simply a result of the query that we ran, selecting star from employees. So this is all very good. So we're successful in connecting to the database and also successful with submitting a query. Very good. All right, so this wraps up our video on setting up your development environment. So you learn how to download the driver and configure it accordingly. We also ran a little sample test program to make sure we could connect, so that looks good.